So today, we're going to go ahead and talk about the anniversary cards in Dokkan, going from the first year anniversary all the way up to the eighth year anniversary. And I'm not going to talk about no worldwide download celebration cards. I'm not talking about this, that, or the third. We don't care about the bull cut Yamcha. We don't care about the pink shirt Vegeta, the bad man. We don't care about these kid Goku cards or anything. We're only going to talk about the anniversary cards and of course i pulled up the coin shop for the eighth year anniversary on the dokkan wiki now let's go and start out with the first year anniversary being the ssj goku this guy i'm pretty sure had some sort of use his lead is go two key and 50 percent or above anytime i call any of these old cards trash i have someone down below in the comment section prove to me why i'm wrong so i'm not going to call this guy from 2016 from the first year anniversary trash because i'm pretty sure this guy had a use unless someone just goes ahead and comes behind me and just says no dev this card's trash <laughs> you, you're right i'll be like oh okay because listen because i don't remember what video it was but I did call some old unit from like 2017 garbage and some people were like, no, 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 Dev, that unit wasn't trash. They were good. And I'm like, oh, shit. OK, I was wrong. Then I was wrong. So I'm not going to go ahead and call this guy trash. I'm pretty sure this guy probably had a use him starting out with two key with his HP being 50 percent or above and two key when his HP is 50. Well, when the team's HP is 50 percent or above because that's his leader skill. But I don't know. Where is this guy really helping you at? I don't know, guys. I'm not particularly sure, but maybe this guy had a use that I do not know about. Now, going on over to the second year anniversary with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. You guys see a theme, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4. You guys know the theme of each anniversary going up until now. So, 2 key and 20% attack and defense with HP is 30% or above. See, I can see that being usable, I guess. And he does extreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy. Now, I would like to say that this unit was actually usable because he gave all allies 2 key and 20% attack when his HP is 50% or above. But I don't see how this guy would be usable in 2016. Maybe I'm wrong. Someone must have an explanation for me, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at a standstill and say that I'm not sure how this guy would look in 2016 although there's nothing particularly that's jumping off the page for him it's just two key when his hp 50 percent or above and two key when hp is 50 percent or above for his leader skill way let's move on over to super saiyan 3 this is where i started playing the game so this super saiyan 3 goku holds a special place in my heart and uh, his leader skill is super saiyan 3 three key and 33 percent the stats his super attack effect he gains 50 percent attack for three turns right yeah, he gains 50% attack for three turns, and he is a support type unit to Super Saiyan 3, giving 33% attack and defense. Obviously, guys, being the third year anniversary, you have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you have him giving three key and 33% of the stats, three turns over here, 33 over here, so many threes, they're all around the world. So this guy, back in 2018, I was being told around the time of this guy's release that this guy was garbage. Now, sure, technically he is garbage alone but i think this guy as a support type unit back in 2018 was actually usable he's giving super saiyan 3 33 attack and defense so that's actually usable that's something i'm <laughs> just saying and obviously he's sharing over in a flash with the entire team and guess what back in 2018 it was a meta link so you could squeeze this guy on the team yeah you, you actually could <laughs> hey what other support type unit is on super saiyan 3 let's go ahead and take a quick peek at what super saiyan 3 is looking like with support type units uh i'm not seeing any jump off the page if i remember correctly super saiyan 3 only has like one two or three support type units and the only support type unit that comes to mind is this giant ape goku right over here yeah, because he gives all allies 33% attack. So I don't think it's any more different because this guy is a way better support type unit than him because he's giving 33% attack and defense. So, I mean, I'm just saying, hey, you can use this guy as a support type unit on Super Saiyan 3 for whatever showcases you want to do in today's meta, obviously. But back then, you can just go ahead and use him as a support type unit then. Yeah, because why not? So let's go ahead and move on over to the fourth year anniversary with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, of course. Four, and he's a pure Saiyan's uh, leader skill of uh, four key and 44% of the stats, so four, four, four. And then he gains a 50% attack for four turns, what a surprise. And he starts out with 44% attack and defense gains 44% attack when he's doing a super attack. And he gives pure Saiyan's category allies 44% defense. That's really good. That is pretty good. And he has prepare for battle shocking speed and GT yeah it's like these guys actually have solid link sets what's your link set you don't have a pair for battle so not you neither of you but 
you you have over in the flash you can be used on the super saiyan 3 team with other over in the flash characters he's definitely a viable option on the super saiyan 3 team back in 2018 i was being told he was trash but hey he's a support type unit and this guy's giving pure saiyan's category allies 44 percent defense but the thing is that pure saiyan has a shit load of support type units back then i don't know how many support type units the pure saiyan's team had but i'm pretty sure broly and paragus was out at the time so that was far better of a support type unit than a super saiyan 4 goku is so when i say this guy was actually useless no, I wouldn't say he's actually useless, provided you just started the game around the fourth year anniversary, so you could throw him on the team. But after you get better options, you can go ahead and just swap this guy out of the team. This guy is good for any sort of beginning player that is just starting the game as a whole. Now, moving over to the fifth year anniversary with this Blue Goku. Blue Goku, Roman Gods Category 5, key and 55% of stats when the, the team includes all five super types. So, you know what's crazy? Is the fact that he gives five key what other leader skill gives five key is he the only leader skill in the game to get five key with stats i what wow i did not know this till today that's that's something new to me that's something new to me so he does have a good super attack effect he gains 50 percent defense yeah he gains 50 percent defense for five turns which is definitely cool and he starts with 55 percent attack and even start a turn 55 percent attack with five more key zeros obtained and then he gains 55 percent attack when performing a super attack so i remember this guy being actually pretty solid for the uh, legendary goku event because of course the shin sewer battle doesn't come out till saiyan day of 2020 so this guy is usable inside the legendary goku event because he builds up his defense so the only interesting thing i have to say about this guy is the fact that he has a five key leader skill so coming up next, we have the STR UI Goku from the six year anniversary. And this is technically yet again, another usable card because this guy does build up his defense by 30%. For six turns, he gains 30% defense for six turns, and he starts out with a 50% chance to dodge and additional attack for six turns to start a turn. So, a 50% chance to dodge, he starts out with an attack and defensive buff, and he builds up attack. So, I would argue that this guy is only actually usable for his 50% chance to dodge. So, come up next, we have the seven year anniversary card, that being the Goku and Vegeta. They uh, are a pure Saiyan Zero skill, three key, and 77% of the stats. So, they easily have the highest leader skill out of all these cards. Yeah, they do. So, them being the highest leader skill of all these cards with 3 key and 7 percent of the stats, they gain 50% attack for 7 turns, which is definitely pretty nice. They start out with 77% attack and defense start turn, 1 key and 11% attack and defense at the start of every turn up to 7 key and 77% attack and defense, plus additional 77% attack starting from the 7th turn, and performs a guaranteed crit with 7 or more key spares obtained. So, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 lucky number, 7, 7. They have the same lineage, prepare for battle and shock and speed free to play car actually seems solid i feel like the fifth year anniversary goku the six year anniversary goku and the seven year anniversary goku and Vegeta, all these cards are usable these are usable cards that you can actually clear content with well meta content now obviously not but i feel like these cards are all usable now let's go on over to the eighth year goku now, the 8th year Goku has a nuke and leader skill of 18% attack defense where keys are obtained, and he is a support type unit on his super attack effect, giving 18% attack and 8% chance of crit for one turn. He gains 88% attack defense for 8 turns from the start of turn. He is a orb changer to rainbow key spears, and he is a nuke that gains 18% attack and defense per key spear obtained, and he gains a 8% chance of crit per rainbow key spear obtained, and gains 88% attack defense forming a super attack. So, his rainbow orb changing supports his nuking type passive for his rainbow key spear obtained for his crits and his 80 percent attack demons for keys were obtained so this guy is just a nuker that's all there is to him so i would argue that that this is uh, probably the best one i think the seven year anniversary one is probably the best one and then the second up will probably have to be this blue goku or this strui i'll probably say this strui because of his dodge and then blue goku coming at number three so one two three and then like this guy's okay like somewhere like a rainbow orb change to help out the team but that's particularly about it so yeah we pretty much went through every single one of the anniversary cars and i gotta say my favorite one would probably have to be the ui one i think the ui one was the coolest one and the fact that they were giving out a free ui was was pretty dope but i think that is really about it i appreciate you guys watching you guys the best i will catch you guys in the next video peace